What's up guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to another video. Welcome to another video. Welcome. Alright guys, I'm feeling really good today. I just now shaved my face, shaved my head so I can be looking presentable for you guys today. But today guys, I'm going to be fixing a spaghetti dinner <laughs> and kind of like a twist because I'm using something that I normally don't use in spaghetti. But let's talk about some ingredients and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. First of all, my go-to brand of spaghetti sauce, actually this is marinara sauce, is my uh, Bertoli, Bertoli brand. It's This is the Rustic Cut Marinara. Man, I love Bertoli. I like to use fettuccine. Uh, for the longest time, I was a linguine fan. But I switched over to uh, fettuccine. It's a little thicker than the uh, linguine. I always like to put some diced tomatoes in my spaghetti. It gives it that added flavor and it gives that added wetness that I like in my spaghetti because I don't like no dry spaghetti. Now, the difference that I'm going to do, the big change that I'm going to do in today's spaghetti meal is instead of using ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever people use out there, I decided that I was going to use these ranch season patties that I buy and I generally eat these as hamburgers. But then I thought today when I took these out the freezer to unthaw them, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make some spaghetti and I'm going to <clears throat> use these seasoned patties. Now when I say these bad boys are seasoned, they don't need anything in them. When I make them as a hamburger, I just usually throw a slice of cheese on them bad boys and some mayo or whatever kind of uh, dressing I like on them and call it a day. No kind of salt, pepper, anything. So this is going to make my spaghetti like amped up a little bit. So enough talking. Let's get started. Get this spaghetti going on. I'm going to tell y'all something too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got two things I'm going to share with you guys. One is about what happened to me when I was 17 years old. Because I forgot to say that in the video. The dentist video. And then I saw in the comments someone said, Anthony, you forgot to tell us what happened when you were 17. I like to put a little oil in my spaghetti. Hopefully that helps keep it from uh, sticking. So I'm gonna tell you about that. And I also gonna tell you about something else. Lord have mercy, I'll tell you. But let me get, I used to break my spaghetti up all the time, but now the last couple of times I fixed my spaghetti because I saw the Asian people they don't break things up. They just sit them in a pot just like this. Got my little spaghetti thing here. I don't have no dishcloths, no nothing because I'm washing clothes and everything else and everything is in the wash and the dryer right now. I probably can go and get those out the dryer, but all right, no top on them yet. Probably no top at all. I'm gonna let them go ahead. See, I I put the whole box in there, and that's just gonna be too much when I put the sauce and everything else in there. But oh well, I'm gonna buy another box and then use this. Okay, let me get my patties going. So I have a few, a couple of videos coming your way this week. Because you guys know me, I really don't make videos unless I have a topic naturally comes to mind to make a video of. You know, I don't be sitting home thinking, okay, what can I make a video? I haven't made a video in three, four days. I need to put a video out. I don't be thinking any of that stuff. When something naturally comes to mind, video. 
I have a couple of my personal friends that watch my videos. <laughs> and they get a kick out of my videos. They say I'm funny. But they already knew that. Look at that smooth head. Oh my god, this baby is smooth. We're gonna put these burgers in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ranch seasoned burgers. I get these from Giants Grocery Store. They are absolutely delicious. I've been eating them as a hamburger on a brioche roll. Woo, you talking about something good? Okay, I have to remember. <laughs> I have to remember that I don't have my dishcloths and stuff with me. So I'm going to fry these burgers. <laughs> I'm going to fry these burgers up. I'm about to run and get my dishcloths out the dryer. At least one of them, because I'm going to need one of them. That didn't take too long. That one. All right. <clears throat> I don't even know if all four of these are going to fit in here. I might have to use two pans. That's the beauty of having two frying pans. Hello. cook two and then wait and cook the other two. Alright, what happened to me in my mouth when I was 17? As I mentioned, I couldn't think about it at the time the dentist had asked, had asked me because, you know, I was all messed up. But I remembered after I left the dentist. So what happened when I was 17? Okay. <laughs> My uh, house that I lived in was five, five houses off the uh, corner of the block. You know, and directly across the street, just a hop, skip, and jump, was the uh, corner store. It was a liquor store, but not your know, liquor, liquor store. But it sold everything, a lot of other things like snacks, potato chips. It's basically where I went to get... It's basically where I went to get my, my junk food, my tater chips, my sodas, and all that stuff. Because <laughs> I wasn't buying liquor, you know, at that age. And so, I went in there. The owners knew me, knew everybody, because it was a neighborhood type of deal. I went in there one day, and I had my $20 bill. I went to get me some snacks. I had a $20 bill in my hand. And I'm standing there, and I told the guy behind the little glass what I wanted. And next to me was this dude. And I've seen him around the neighborhood before. His face was familiar to me. So I didn't know him. But, ooh, this stuff is popping. I didn't know him, but... I didn't know him, but, I've, you know, his face was familiar. So... I'm just about to put my money, my $20 bill, in a little spin thing. <laughs> and this dude, bam, he hit me right in the mouth and tried to snatch my $20 bill out my hand. And he didn't get that damn $20 bill, boy. I held on to that $20 bill. I did one of these numbers, though. But I held on to that $20 bill, and he hauled ASS out the store and ran. And the owner of the store behind the glass was like, are you all right? Are you all right? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And I remember because shortly after that, I did have a root canal done because I went down to the University of Maryland Dentist uh, uh, School. It's basically where all the dentist students practice dentists and you get like a low rate because they're not like certified dentists yet. And I did have a root canal put in my mouth. 
But I had forgot about that at the time the dentist had asked me. So that's what happened to me when I was 17. I got punched in the mouth. Bam! That dude tried to grab my 20. I held on to that twenty dollar bill. He didn't get that twenty more. <laughs> so, yep. Needless to say, now here it is, thirty five, forty years later. He wants to go all up in there and send me to a specialist. And nah, man, come on with that. Woo! Okay. I might need my big fashion. Whoa! This stuff is popping, popping. This one ain't popping like that one up front. Then I'm gonna put them in one pan. I'm gonna crumble them all up. When my spaghetti get done, rinse my spaghetti off, stop the cooking process. It's gonna be good. All right, so that's what happened to me when I was 17 years old. I got punched in the mouth. Dude tried to take my $20 bills. Didn't make it. Had to get a root canal as a result of the punch in the mouth. And that's that. And that's that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what I want to say this time, look. I know some of y'all going to be a little mad at me. And, you know, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. I try my best not to say anything about Mia on my channel. But sometimes she just make it hard for me to hold my damn tongue. And this was a situation where it's just hard for me to hold my tongue. <laughs> Let me tell you about burgers there before I burn them up. Talking to y'all. She recently Oh shit. This shit making me scared. Not over, you little son of a gun. She recently made a video. <laughs> where someone had bought her something. Now, y'all see that? That's not a lot of stuff in there, though, but I'm going to show y'all how easy it is to clean this pan. I'll get back to that story in a minute. Oh, I can't clean it because I got... False advertisement, false advertisement. I forgot my stuff is in the, in the, in the dryer. <laughs> oh, damn, damn, false advertisement. There we go. Get this spaghetti popping. Let's do some little separation here. Okay, back to the uh, Mia story. She recently made a video where someone gave her something, sent her something. It was something on her wish list. Now, so just out of curiosity, something mm -hmm. made me go and look at her wish list. She has about five or six days on her wish list. So I went and I clicked on her wish list. I could believe some of the items that she had on there. <laughs> I was like, oh my heavens. That's a little better there. She had on her wish list two batteries. You know, the batteries that you hook up your solar system when you have, when you know you're living in a vehicle. You hook up your solar system with. She had two batteries on her wish list. One was seven to eight hundred dollars, and the other one was eight hundred to almost nine hundred dollars. Now I thought to myself. I thought to myself, who in the hell in their right mind is going to buy anybody, not just her, anybody, 
$800 or $900 battery. Who in their mind? First of all, I wouldn't even have the nerve to even put that on there. I wouldn't. Have. I wouldn't even have the nerve to put that on there. That's some. That's something that if you're going to live that lifestyle, you should be able to do that much for yourself. But, let me turn this down. Especially, especially now, like I said, I try not to talk about Mia on, on my channel because I know how sensitive the topic is and I know how a lot of you guys are scared of her. <laughs> y'all scared of her because y'all stop commenting on her channel. Y'all stop everything. Y'all scared of her. I'm not, okay? But I try to oblige to some of your wishes and not talk about Mia. But it's hard for me to hold my tongue on this one. Especially when we haven't even seen the van. We haven't seen the van. She sat in it one time and made a talk video, her, her normal format. And we haven't seen the van since, you know? Now, why would somebody go out and spend $800 and $900 on a vehicle that we don't even know exists? We, don't, we haven't seen any progress on it. Nothing. Nothing. I'd be a fool, and so would anybody else, to go out and purchase a van, uh, a battery of that much money for her, and then later find out, you know, the van don't exist. Wouldn't you be pissed? Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, it would be different, and, and slightly different, if we have been seeing the progress, and we know a van exists, and, and you know, she's doing her thing, and getting it together, but all we have seen is nothing, you know? At least, in my opinion, you, if, you at least could have sh taken some pictures of the van and showed, showed your audience, you know? Show, showed your subscribers. We ain't seen nothing. All we hear is the problems, and okay, that's enough. I'm going to stop right there. Because <laughs> I will start to rant on about that. <laughs> But I'm serious. I just thought when I saw that wish list and saw those two items on there, I just really thought, who in the world in their right mind is going to do that? Who's going to buy that? That's a lot of money for something to invest in another person when you haven't even seen any proof yet that a vehicle exists. You know what I mean? So... That's just my thoughts. I'm quite sure y'all gonna share y'all thoughts, but that's just crazy to me. All right, my burgers are done. I'm gonna let them cool for a second. My spaghetti should be darn near done. Darn near done. I'm gonna wash that out in a second during the break. But right now, Let's get some cold water on the on this spaghetti. Ah, look at that. Not one of them stuck to the pan. Ha ha ha, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, we're going to run some cold water on the spaghetti to stop the cooking process. Then we're going to put them back in the pan. Run some cold water on them. Because you don't want your spaghetti to be rubbery. So you want to stop that cooking. Because you're going to heat it up some more once you combine everything together. I'm talking and looking at y'all and my spaghetti thing is all flipped up and the spaghetti falling all out. All right. 
Let's run some cold water in the pan so it takes the heat off of the bottom of the pan because you don't want the spaghetti to start heating back up once you put it back in the pot. All right. Back in the pan that goes and ready for everything else. All right. Now, haven't quite figured out how I'm going to crumble up these uh, but let's see, I want them to be in up in here. I might save one of them. I don't like my burgers well done. I like to see a little bit of a little bit of red in them. I know y'all going to be like, oh, Anthony, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I like to see a little bit of, a little bit of red in them. I don't like them all dried out. If they dried out, ugh. They ain't going to taste right. And I'm starting to sweat, and the sweat is mostly coming because I just now shaved my face and my head. So any little bit of heat is like times two or maybe times 10. All righty, crumbling up my seasoned burgers. I might keep, I think I'm gonna have plenty with just two of them. So I'm gonna keep two. Stop at the grocery store, get me some rolls. Yep, I think I'm going to keep two. Because this is a lot. Darn it, I should have only fixed two. Shoot. Now I'm under pressure to eat those. Yeah, because I think this is enough. Look at that. That's enough. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna bring this right here. I'll tell you when you fry food, your, your stove get all messed up. All right, now. I wanna put, oh my God. Have I become weak? I'm working out. <laughs> Why am I working out? I can't even open up a little <laughs> What? <laughs> Seriously, what is going on here? I can't open up a little jar of Miss Garlic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I getting arthritis? What is happening here? I'm serious. <laughs> my hand is slipping. Oh my God, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that, was, that was, that was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was embarrassing. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. I'm like, oh my goodness. What is going on with my strength? <laughs> what is going on with my strength? 
Oh boy. I tell you. Oh Lord, I done opened that up all wrong. Alright. I always afraid that I'm gonna cut myself when I open up a can. Cause those things be sharp. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. Oh my gosh. That is something. I am gonna add some um salt and pepper just because of the spaghetti yes the burgers are seasoned but the spaghetti I didn't even put no salt in there which I should have but I probably would have added some more anyway so let's get this in here oh this looks nice and chunky oh my goodness yeah boy this is going to be some kind of good. Also, to help keep it loose, because once you start heating this bad boy up, it is going to start soaking up some of that sauce. So you need some backup. You need some backup. The chicken stock is my backup. You don't have chicken stock, use some water. Because right now, this is quite, quite thick. And I want it looser. <laughs> I, lost, I lost my strength. What is going on? I'm going to wrap these bags up. And get them out of my eyesight. Oh my god, what is happening? I lost my strength. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And that's basically gonna be it, guys. Now you know spaghetti. Put some of this in here. Because I need my spaghetti to be loose. And that's going to be it, guys. I'm just going to heat this up. And I'm going to eat this tomorrow because you know how spaghetti tastes so much better after it's sat for a while. All the flavors get the marinating. And I don't even know if I'm going to warm this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and let this sit as it is. I'm going to add some uh, salt and pepper to it, maybe some garlic. maybe some garlic and make sure that it stays loose and that's gonna be it for today's video guys all right guys that's gonna be a wrap for today's video and my spaghetti dinner that i fixed it's not for today it's for tomorrow and <clears throat> i want to thank you guys for continuing to support my channel i really do appreciate it thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos and support them I really do appreciate them. Guys, don't forget to look in the description at my Amazon affiliate products that I have available. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video because it's going to be a special video and you're not going to want to miss it. So tomorrow, kind of late afternoon, early evening, um, I hope to get the video posted and put up. If not tomorrow, but Pretty sure I can make it happen tomorrow, definitely Tuesday. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you're having a great weekend, and I'll see you guys the next time.